morning, guys. Today is a very special day because it is chemical peel day. Not my favorite day, but it has to be done. As you can see, I cleared up all the acne. Now there's just dark spot. There's no actual pimples. So that's where the chemical peel comes in hand. And then I have a question because um, y'all know I got the under eye fillers. This is the incision marks. How long did it take for your incision marks to go away? Of course, I've been using my under eye cream, but you know, my eyes are worse than they were before because it's just like the incision spots in my tear ducts that are dark. But um, <clears throat> I really want to show you guys how I cleared up all the acne. So I was using these three things consistently in this order. What I was using, this is the oil cleanser and a makeup remover. Y'all, this stuff is like crack. Even if you don't have on makeup, it's really nice to just like get it, rub it into your skin at the end of the day. Um, then I wash with this just to make sure I have everything off. And this is hard to get off, so the soap helps it. And I use my little sponge because it's like a mini exfoliant. Then I take a cotton pad and I rub witch hazel everywhere. And then this Kiehl's face lotion is my favorite. Y'all know Kimo gave me the um, Cerave one, but this is just like my go-to facial lotion. It's actually really good. So that's what I use to get the pimples off my face. And now I'm getting ready to go get a chemical peel to get the dark spots off my face. Of course, with one peel, it's not going to knock off all of the dark spots, but most of them. But now, really my biggest concern, I'm no longer worried about my skin. I'm just like, you know... Did something go wrong that I have? It's like right where my incisions were. It's really dark. Well, I have a folder. Um, right where my incisions are, it's really dark. Has anybody gotten there under eyes? Then? Because now that my skin is about to be together, my eyes I feel like look worse than when I started. And I'll show you the before and after because yeah, they definitely look. A whole lot worse now, but I'll be back, y'all. It's time to get my chemical pill. Y'all know they suck and I hate them, so bear with me. Right now, we're degreasing the skin. We have to get rid of all of the residual oil, every ounce of oil, Stop. so the peel can penetrate. Oh, y'all, I'm scared. Y'all know I'm such a sissy when it comes to peels. Brooke be laying here with her face Hi. melting off, and I'd be about to cry. You're customized. Peel is ready. We're going to start at the forehead. Okay, so this is the part of the chemical peel that I hate the most. This is when we start adding the layers. Yes, it burns. The burning gradually just gets worse and worse. Um, I have a low pain tolerance, so if you're not a sissy like me, you might be okay. The peel that she used does have an orange tint, so as you can see, my skin is kind of getting orange, and it's kind of getting white in certain areas. The white basically gives you a preview of how your skin is going to peel and which parts are going to be lifting. I'm dying. I know I look like I'm dying, but that's just the price you got to pay to be beautiful. Okay, y'all. The peel is on my skin. It, it's still burning. Um... <laughs> Honestly, I think we've done worse pills than that one, though. It was burning, but we have done some. Yeah, literally where my face was on fire and chemo had to wash it off. We have done some, some pills, pills. So, I'm not going to wash my face all day today. I'm not going to put any makeup on. I'm going to give it a chance to start peeling. And then I'll come back and finish this video off as I start peeling. I won't just post it today because I really want you guys to see how I peel, like, you cracking open some crab legs all right y'all this is day two of my chemical peel this is actually peeling really good for day two i want y'all to see the skin under here this part is completely peeled look at the difference in the skin like this is why i love getting chemical peels because when you see that new skin underneath like look how raised this is when this peels that is gonna look so nice y'all see it's like right there all that dirty skin 
coming right off. My forehead hasn't started yet, but it's raising. See how that's up? You can see the difference like here in my eyebrow area up and like my hairline. But when all of this starts peeling off, y'all, I'm gonna have a brand new, fresh by the skin. I know it looks disgusting. So um, yeah, I'm gonna wash my face and then Aquaphor. I'm gonna put Aquaphor on my face for the first few days. Regular Aquaphor, Aquaphor is just as good, but I just have the baby Aquaphor because I use it for six. So that's what I've been using for the first few days because it, it helps with the healing process. It helps speed up the healing process. And then next week, sometime after five days, chemo said then start using regular moisturizer. But um, to cleanse, I still been using my honey bar. Chemo actually gave me something gentler to use, but I packed it up in my suitcase. So just for right now, I'm gonna wash with my honey turmeric bar, and then I'm gonna lather in aquaphor, and then I'll call, I mean, not call you guys back. I will get back on here so you guys can see what it looks like after I wash my face. And you do not wanna pick at it. I know it's tempting and I know it looks so cool, but do not pick at it. I do not pick at my chemical pills. That is the worst thing that you can do. I just let them happen. But you do, when you rub it, you, you do enough exfoliating when you rub it that it gets most of the tricky things off. My skin. Okay, so this is what it looks like after washing. See, it basically just looks like wet skin is laying down a little bit more this side has pretty much completely peeled itself so that's good you see the dark spots are kind of like getting better now don't think i'm just not gonna have any dark marks after this dark dark marks are so deep sometimes that you have to do multiple ones before this one this is my ninth chemical pill so when i first started i had did eight of them and that's when i really started seeing like the dark spots completely gone so they'll still be there. They just won't, you see like the bigness. I don't want to pick it, but I want to show you guys. But if you pick it too early, it doesn't get to do what it needs to do. Like don't force it and you'll scar your face. So now I'm going to put my um, Aquaphor in it. Then I'll show you. All right, now y'all see I have a nice good layer of Aquaphor on. You can kind of see it's a little white cast on it now forehead everywhere I even been putting it under my eyes because my eyes are darker right now I don't know if anybody else has gotten under eye fillers I had this problem my incision marks will not go away not sure but fingers crossed but um yeah you can see I'm like pretty shiny you really want to apply I think I'm gonna put a little bit more because you do want it to be a pretty thick layer like I said when you peel you do not want your skin to be dry if your skin is dry then you are not taking care of your skin like you're supposed to you want it to peel but you don't want it to be like you know like it's ripping off of your face you have to keep it moisturized so i'm gonna go to sleep of course overnight i won't get to apply it as many times as i do throughout the day i've applied it today like four or five times but mostly today my face was just really tight because it was getting ready to peel and recently later on in the night it just started peeling but i'll let you guys see what i look like in the morning after sleeping the entire night and it does it's a gross looking process but it's, it's worth it all right good morning y'all this is day three of the chemical peel y'all see i told y'all overnight it's gonna get like way more peely because you're not up to put the stuff on but you can see like it's all over the place. It's coming off really good. I'm not gonna wash my face yet. I'm gonna wash my hair. And I don't like washing my hair. I have to wash my hair, my face after I wash my hair, because you know there'll just be stuff falling on your face. So I'm gonna put some more A and D ointment on. And then I'm gonna wash my face and I'm done washing my hair. So anything that falls on my face during my hair wash, I can get back off. But you don't wanna, I'm not gonna rub it on because I wanna be gentle because like I said, you don't wanna pull back the peels. When you wash it is where you can give it a good rub because the water loosens it up. I think so gentle. Six is waking up. I 
rub this good layer on there because, like, yeah, don't rub when it's this much peeling because you'll pull on it and it'll hurt. So, nice good layer like that. You'll feel it that it's good because your skin won't be as tight. And you can go on about your day. <laughs> I've washed my face. Um, as you can see, now you can really see like clearly what's come off. You see this is still pretty dark all in this area and here. And then you have some light spaces here because that's finished peeling. This is still really dark. So the lighter places are where I'm finished peeling these darker spots. I still have some time to go. My forehead still hasn't started peeling, but it is always the last spot to peel and my nose just started peeling. So my lip hasn't started peeling yet. So, but you can see it's starting a little bit. You can really see like what spots are done and what spots still have time to go. This whole area still has to peel. This area back here is nice and beautiful because it's finished. My chin is still peeling, but you can see everything lifted up. It looks really dark and it looks really gross. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna keep y'all updated. This is day three of my chemical peel. And it's already, my skin is already looking really nice over here. So, fingers crossed. I'm getting ready to put some more A&D ointment on. Now I gotta wash my face. And I didn't use a, gent like, a gentler cleanser this time. Um, Kimo gave me this. She wants, she likes you to use a gentle cleanser when you're doing chemical peels. The acne bar is not gentle. But I just want y'all to see the peels in the sink. I did not scrub my face hard. I scrub it really lightly. You can start giving it like a nice scrub, like maybe the fifth day to get the rest of the access off. Cause at that point you'll just see like stuff is just hanging on for no reason. But these days where it still feels tight and it is a little painful to peel it, you're not supposed to do that. But I'm gonna show y'all the peels. So this is what my sink looks like after I finished washing my face. I did not exfoliate, I did not wipe it hard i literally just washed it um washed it in circular motion like i would if i was washing my face i didn't use a washcloth i didn't use anything and they literally come off by themselves they're not hard to get off when they're ready they will come off all right y'all this is day four of my chemical peel I am doing really good. My forehead is now peeling. I'm really, really close to being finished. There's just like some spots here that still have to peel. My chin hasn't really started yet and my lip and nose have just started. So this is before I washed my face. This is how I woke up after putting on everything before I went to sleep. So I'm going to wash my face. I'm going to show y'all how I wash my face today. Today, I'm going to spread my skin a little harder than usual because it's feeling really well. Everything's coming off a little bit. So I'm actually going to do it. Like this. Right there. So now this is what I'm looking like. My skin is looking really, really good. I told you these things are gonna take a little time, but they're better than what they were. Some of them are still peeling, but this is not gonna be gone off of the first peel. If you've ever had chemical peels, then you know. It takes a little bit of time to really get those dark areas off. And it's still peeling, so we're gonna, you know, see what it looks like when it's really finished but yeah so this is day four so today is day five of my chemical peel and i'm gonna go ahead and say it is the last day my skin looks amazing you see there's still some dark spots on this side but keep in mind like i told you 
it it's still peeling on this side a little bit actually i just noticed but keep in mind like i told you this will not go away right away i will put a before and after up so you can see that there is visibly a difference in my dark spots but dark spots sometimes hide nugget <laughs> you're annoying are sometimes so deep down that um it takes a couple pills to get them away but my skin is glowing you can see it it looks very fresh it looks very just new again and it didn't look like that at first i don't really have any active breakouts um yeah so i'm really pleased with my chemical pills it's nice how to open doors y'all now and it's getting on my nerves <laughs> close the door because i can hear your, your cartoon um the next thing we're working on i've been using um chemo's brightening cream to correct the damages or maybe temporary damages done from getting under eye fillers because like I told you guys, my eyes are darker than before. Only in the injection marks, I do think it got better here, but the injection marks are still pretty dark. Okay guys, so I wanted to give you a quick update on my skin. I'm finally done peeling. As you can see, it looks a whole lot better than before. I will put a side to side. Um, keep in mind what I said, you cannot just do one chemical peel and think that your skin is gonna be perfect. But I personally think my skin is drastically different. I do have on some mascara and some under eye concealer, but as you can see, I don't have anything on my face here and it is not as bad as it was. So probably with like two or three more chemical peels, I should be good. But this is the finish, this is the final product. Um, I'm gonna put everything in the description box that I use to wash my face during the process, even though I said it, so just in case you miss it, go down to the description box, see what I use, see what helped, see how the process went, and...